Hello creative designers and welcome to the tutorial. My name is Peter and on to this tutorial I just going to how to create a custom uh, email uh, with your domain that you can use either for business or whatever it is that the service that you just want to offer or the email you just have to give out. Uh, we're just going to use the C panel to create this custom email and that further ado let's get into action and I'll show you how to do it. The first thing we need to do, we need to get the cPanel dashboard. Uh, before you get to the cPanel dashboard, we need to log in. When you just purchase an, a new domain, you just receive uh, the login credential for the cPanel. So you need to enter the login credential here. After you just enter them, you just be directed to this cPanel dashboard. Scroll to where we have email here. We have the, uh, we have the email account, we have the forwarders. The forwarders, these are uh, the email, just, just create a, a custom email with your domain and it will forward to that email address you have, maybe a Gmail or maybe a Outlook. But for today's tutorial, we're just going to learn how to create a custom email account. So on the, uh, on the row where you have the email, select the email account. Here you can see I have two email accounts, so I need to create one. So you have this button here to create one. So click create. Select the domain you just want to use to, uh, to create the email. After that, enter the email account, maybe support. From here, the next thing you can see is support at theradosu.ke at my domain. So you only need to use the, to enter the username which will be added to the domain. From there, you can enter the password or you can provide an alternative email so i want to include a password so let me type the password i want to use there you have it i have just entered a password uh, the next thing is the storage space you can enter a manual space you want to use so i want it to be maybe let's say something like 50 mb or you can select unlimited if you want to use that if you receive a bulk of emails you can and they are, they are unlimited and the next thing you need to do you have to clear them all by yourself so from there you have uh, to uh, to select automatically create a folder or don't uh, create the folder so i want the folder to be created automatically and i want this welcome email with instruction how to set up mail client and after that i just have to click it just take uh, some few minutes and to be done you can see it has already been created and the next thing you can do is you can check the email yeah i want to use rubcube because we have these uh web client we have holdy and loopcube let me just use some hobby holdy you can use either you want or you can select the device you can use you want to use for this email yeah you can see the email has been Sent and you can also use these to create some emails. Uh, you have now to come and type the new message, and you can type it uh, to that person you want to set. Let me set one here and I say paste, and I can type the next thing you can do is to just send the email, and the email has been sent. So, check success frequency this uh, notification here just just pop up you can come here to the sent email you can see to who and you can also receive some emails let me just get back here and here you can see the email has well been received here it's from the support at the other so key to i and you can see the message itself hello this is a text me uh, this is a test message you can, you can also reply and the things goes on just like that and once you click send to just reply like that so let me open again and here you have the email has been responded I just have to click on it and you can see the email has been received uh, very well back and the email that we did send and just that that's how you can create a custom email account that you can use uh, either for business or whatever the uh, the way you want to use it you can have it when, once you have a domain 
that is, that's the tutorial for today i hope it was of great help to you remember to subscribe to this youtube channel for more tutorials to follow and remember to hit the thumbs up for this tutorial thank you